Welcome to Real Independent, where dreams pave the way for reality. I'm your host, Amy Kim. Meetings, 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 the foundation to any strong production. Whether it's on Skype or on conference call, it's important that everyone stays on the same page at all times. For our producer, Omari, it takes a little bit more effort. He traveled 13 hours from Washington, D.C. to Cincinnati to meet with his team. Let's go to him and see how much progress they've made. So what's going on, Real Independent? No, I am not on a set. This is actually a train station, an old train station here in Manassas. I'm actually getting ready to head on to Ohio so we can go ahead and get some production work done. I just decided to do it a little differently than normal. We'll go uh, with the train. I've, I've not done an Amtrak ride yet. Well, since I've been an adult anyway. Real independent, you know, we're getting it done how we can get it done. All right, stay tuned. But I am here, so it's looking pretty awesome. We're getting ready to go in here and talk to Toby Tyler, fashion wardrobe designer for the film. We're gonna see what she got for us today. Alex and Omari and crew came to Cincinnati to my studio and we got to look at some fabrics and some different distressing techniques and get a feel for where we wanted to, to take the film and the looks. The only thing that so we have more time to develop. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. we've got a lot more time. Okay. We put out a lot, but we have a lot more time. Okay. Sticks overalls uh, were made from scratch. So, so once you distress them, it's gonna be a closer to this, like so. Yeah, like in between, in between nice. add some, some dark. Like browns, right. with right. stressing because you can just keep making it dirtier and dirtier. You don't have to worry about where you put it in your studio. You can just keep throwing it around. And, and then for Croc, I actually came across this jacket, which I thought we could rip up and do whatever. We, it doesn't need to be this long, but right. okay. cut it in the right color range. Yeah. So Croc is going to have kind of a olive green slash brown look to it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't want this. I'm just, I was just thinking about the whole green military look. Like, is that going to be too much green on it? I think know? if he has like a dirty white shirt right, and then the, and the dirty jeans on again, right. that it could work really well. But if you want something different, you can play with it too. I want to try it and see. I'm going to tell Chuck maybe to put the head on there and just get a picture of it all the Yeah, might see. as well. Yeah, yeah might as well put a picture on there. Cool. It's cool. It feels good. So as far as Mara, I have this bamboo fabric that I think would be really good nice. to start manipulating and shred it and, and we'll right. dye it and get it to the right, like a light dingy. But this will distress really nicely, but it looks kind of like, yeah, like I it like was that. nice at one right. point. Right. 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 I just kind of wanted to, you know, drape down, like have some sort of Shape, you know, yeah, and we can so do we can like, do little taps. Okay. Then in walks Aaron with the right attitude and the right look for the role of sticks. Hey, how you doing? Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Amari. Hi, Alexander. Hi. Alexander. Hi. Alexander. Hello, sir. Hello, <laughs> cool HD cannon. <laughs> so I don't know. We didn't waste any time. We broke out the production book and got straight to business, filling him in on sticks, a character that he would have to work hard to bring to life. As many of you may know, this job requires a lot of patience, hard work, dedication. We actually had a great photographer. That we're looking for we're looking for that contract. Stunning portfolio. Her attention to detail was unbelievable. We thought we had found our photographer. 
but for some unknown reason, she just never called back, never showed up or anything. Just don't let that stop you. You gotta keep pushing. Find somebody else, make it happen. Oh, everybody, this is Victoria. <laughs> so then we meet Victoria, a very talented model. She's never done anything this extreme though. We're, um, we're just talking about um, Mara. And you know, I told you about the story, right? Mm -hmm. We talked about it. So this is basically your wardrobe. This is your attire. This will be prosthetics that will put down your back, rings down your back. You're gonna be wearing contacts that are gonna be all whited out, so you may not be able to see as well. You know, everybody's very professional there. But um, of course, you can definitely do the paces, not, not a problem. That's not what we're shooting for anyway. So she's topless, and that's how she's gonna be. But she actually has pins in her forehead and in her in her arms, in her hands. Yeah, I like that. Mark. Yeah. It's like, oh, I'm so much right, so yeah. fast. Right, yeah. Like, Pin cushion, I don't need one. I'll just put it in my arm. Costume and wardrobe is something that a lot of people may or may not think about but is a vital element in telling your character story. We spent the rest of our time going over every single detail and it was quite obvious that we were all extremely excited about this journey. Make sure you hit us up on Facebook, Twitter, and our website. For more information on our crew and today's guests, check out the links below. And don't forget, don't wait for anything, go after it, make it happen, that's real independent.